Good morning. Today I have a very challenging mission. I would like to finish all the tasks for the app and release it in the App Store. And this is the last work day of the year. So let's try. A few months ago, I started to play around with widgets and planned to implement those in my freediving application, but accidentally I created a habit tracking application that helped me a lot in October when I was working on my freediving application to stay consistent and I can I released a new version, quite big update, bumped sales a bit, and yeah, I have a whole video about that, whatever. But I was asked a few times if and when I will release that habit tracking application. And I decided that, yeah, why not? Let's do MVP and see how that will fly. I'm working full-time hours on a consulting project, have family and few more good excuses, but let's be honest, I'm a big procrastinator as well. So I left all the fixes and final touches for the very last workday of the year. The functionality of the app is simple. You pick one habit and stick with it for a month. The widget on the screen will keep reminding me to work on it and it helped me to do not skip off the track. The data model for current version could be straightforward, but I have quite a few features in mind. Therefore, I needed to update the core data data model. I expected to spend half of the day on that, but I finished it in about two hours. Nice. We need an icon for the app, even just to release it in the test flight in for beta testers therefore it is the next task one more coffee and i am ready to jump on icon design i try to use dal to create app icon it's working decently well for my free diving application probably i will use one of those generated icons later but my attempts to generate icon for habit tracking application using ie was horribly bad so i opened figma remembered that i hate it switched it to sketchup and started to design my version color picking is a challenge always but i ended with half decent icon for the app screen probably should be updated. Okay. Sure, I found a bug just before updating to the App Store. Oh, widget is broken for some reason. Okay, back to development. I fixed it and uploaded the application. Sometimes you run into the problems with app signing. Those are different every time, so there is nothing to learn here. For app description and keyword generation, I decided to use ChatGPT bot. Sure, I didn't just copy paste result, but I fixed some typos and customize it a bit to fit my app better. I decided to use simple screenshots for first version because I was running out of the time. Those are fine, I will update later. App submission is easy, just read error messages if you have any and provide all the requested links and data and yeah, just, that's like Windows installation, you know, just click next. <laughs> Yeah, sure. If you are using any kind of uh, data collection, whatever, you have to carefully take a look what data are you collecting and select right checks boxes for that. App reviews could take about two weeks back in a day, but nowadays you can expect feedback up to 24 hours after submitting for review. Usually those are few hours. App is submitted, so let's wait for review. So I managed to finish all the tasks, submit application for review, and yeah, did that in that one work day. And I even got feedback from Apple, and guess what? The application is rejected. Guess why? Point this one. Spam. Don't create multiple bundle IDs for the same app. Basically, this point is added to the Apple review guidelines to do not allow to create basically the same application, but a little bit different and submit it again. 
how my application fits in this category. I have no idea. <laughs> so what did I do? Of course, I ran it on Twitter as we do and on Mastodon as well. And developers community is uh, very supportive. They also kind of said, spam, how? Yeah, and my application, it is very bare minimum MVP. It is very simple, very basic application. And I, s I was thinking maybe Apple don't want any more um, habit tracking applications in the App Store because they don't like to accept flashlight applications, for example. But that is different point. There is there is minimum functionality point. Basically, that that should be applied then. So seems that is not the case, right? Yeah, whatever. That is never ending rant about <laughs> developers versus Apple review team. And um, yeah, I just imagine how that would feel if someone just started development, learned, took a look on some tutorials, how to create widgets, how to work with core data, how to create this and that application, submit it and get a response like that, you know. And those are kind of downs what you can feel as a developer. Uh, yeah, I'm not very annoyed and yeah, I'm I'm from North Europe, you know, we are non, you don't see big difference in emotions if you are happy or <laughs> you have dep depression. It's fine, whatever, we'll see. Uh, going to sleep now. Hopefully I will see a response from Apple on the morning. Fingers crossed. Five hours later. First thing on the morning, I checked my notifications to see if Apple started to review my application. Sure, nothing yet. And that kind of sucks that Apple is gatekeeper and can just do not allow to release your application for unknown reasons. And yeah, maybe maybe that is not a bad thing that currently there are discussions ongoing about alternative app stores and side loading applications. We'll see where that will go. And meanwhile, in App Store, there are so much copycat applications and scam, pure scam applications, and Apple is fine with that. So, yeah, that's kind of downside of uh, being a developer. So, but yeah, now is 11, and check out what I have here. I got notification from Apple that application is changed from waiting to in review. They're taking second look on my application Hopefully, they will decide that uh, application is okay to release in the App Store. So again, still fingers crossed, but yeah, we will go. Snow actually outside, most of the snow is melted, but I am not going and steering and refreshing screen here. We are going to the old town to, I don't know, to see some Christmas trees and all that stuff. Let's go. So, I got feedback from Apple review team. App is rejected again, but this time that is actually good rejection. <laughs> they actually took a look on the, my app, they installed it, and yeah, basically two things, three things actually, actually. All of that is fixable, basically I have, they tested that on iPad and found that on one screen iPad doesn't work, on iPad it doesn't work really well. They didn't find how to add more habits. There is just one habit that's feature of the app. And yeah, and one thing, my fault. In uh, in context, I have, I'm mentioning premium version of the application, but there is no premium application. Premium version that is free, totally free application. So that's my fault, and that should be fixed. That's it. I can work with it. So. <laughs> This rejection is actually good news. So first was actually something false, incorrect rejection, second one is perfect, so I can work with it. So going home, celebrating New Year and back to work. Happy New Year, see you next one. And yeah, I will do follow up video and we'll tap pin it somewhere here. So if you're interested, so follow, follow on that. Yeah.
Thank you.